Well, I wanted to try something. I took a picture of Wally and Gibbs and I cartoonized them with an app that I have on my phone. And I picked the pictures out and I'm going to try to router those and see what it looks like. Sorry for all the noise there. Husband is now working in the shop on a consistent basis, so it's very noisy. So I glued those pictures of the pooches to this piece of red alder and used my profile bit and started routering out all of the black lines. And this is what it looked like when it was all done. The boys came to visit me, so I showed them their pictures. I don't know what they thought of it. I sprayed it off with air real good. Then took it outside and painted the routered areas with the black primer. And when that was dry, I took off as much of the paper that I could and I sanded with 60 grit. And I used 60 grit because I bought a big old container of it, but I could use something a bit grittier on this really tough alder, but the 60 grit worked really well. And sprayed with air again. And this is what I had so far. Then I printed off they had a set wolf and Gibbs and Wally and also some paw prints. I used carbon paper to transfer the paw prints to the wood and made a border of different sized paw prints around everything. Transferring was a little tedious, but it didn't need to be perfect because I was going to be routering them out. I'm going to just glue this down with regular old office glue and a stick. Just to see how that works. So I use it all the time. Used to use it all the time. Just gonna try it again for this. The glue stick held really well, just as good as a spray glue has been doing, but I'll still use a spray glue for larger projects. Then I routered all of the paw prints with the profile bit. Then put in a 60 degree bit to do the lettering for Wally and Gibbs. Then I extended the bit out a little bit further for the other lettering. I checked it on a practice piece first and I liked it. Then sprayed it all off with air again. I put blue tape over the areas I wanted to protect from the spray paint. It's getting dark outside. Yikes! It's getting dark. Then sprayed it with black primer again. I am super excited to sand this. Yeah, Sandy. Then I sanded it again with 60 grit. So I'm redoing steps over and over again, routering, spray painting, sanding. And if I had in my mind what I was going to do from the beginning with this project, then I would just do it all in one step. All of the routering, all of the painting, and then all of the sanding. But I didn't know what I was going to be making, so I just had to do things multiple times. Then I spread it off with air again. Then marked with a pencil where I wanted to trim the edges. Then I used the bandsaw and cut the sides. Since the bottom and the top are not straight, I cut the sides with a jagged edge.
And since it was marked on the front side, I just had to guesstimate where I was cutting when I flipped it over, uh, but it worked out. Then I sanded the edges and the back to make them smooth. Then I added a wire hanger with a couple of screws. And I added a verse and my logo. The verse is Job 12.10. It says, The life of every creature and the breath of all people are in God's hand. The life of every creature. That means me, and you, and the poochie dogs too. Then I took it outside and sprayed the back with polyurethane. And when it was dry, I flipped it over and sprayed the front. I was loving the way it was looking. Oh yeah! So the sign is all done! It says Gibbs and Wally. They had us at Woof. And we usually say Wally and Gibbs, but the, the way the pictures were that I had, it just is, is Gibbs is first. So Gibbs and Wally. And this is a piece of that alder from our kitchen table. I've just been using that alder up. I like it. It's our puppy dogs. I would like to start doing this kind of pet portrait for people, so, hmm, anybody want a pet portrait done by me? Let me know. So thanks for joining me, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Uh -huh.